What is up, peeps? It's following TCG, and I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video. And of course, we have some more Pokemon TCG online gameplay. And today, we have a pretty sweet and consistent list. We have Weavile, Baby Buzz, well, well, I was going to say Baby Weavile, but there's no Weavile GX. Hint, hint, Pokemon. Um, but we are doing a Shrine. It's, you know, it's a very good deck when it comes up against the right opponent. However, the fact that we have Buzzwords poke damage, um, if we come up against decks that don't play much abilities, that's perfectly fine. We can still let the Shrine do its thing. But if you think about the current format, almost all the top tier decks have... A pretty fast range of ability. If you think Zorak, obviously, you've got Malamar, then you've got um, Ray Vika Ray, stuff like that. Um, all these top tier decks, even Binet, like it, it's, it's an ability. I think that the Weavile, the Evil Abomination Weavile, is in the best possible place it could be in in the whole training card game right now. Like, there is, because there is no sufficient ability lock right now, there are abilities everywhere it is like one of the most relied upon things in the pokemon tcg there are decks formed on the basis of abilities and the top tier decks are actually formed on the basis of abilities as well so we cannot ignore that um so <clears throat> sorry my voice went weird there so with that said playing something like weavile just seems too good to pass up and this is the evil abomination you could play the one as well that has i forgot which which attack it's called i don't know if it's evil ruling where it does 60 damage to all pokemon and play with abilities like you couldn't you can do that variant um and as soon as i start telling you about pretty much most decks playing an ability we come up against this <laughs> which is i don't know if i want to attach that energy yet we'll attach the beast energy um i don't know if there is any pokemon in the uh ho o to deck that uses abilities, in fact, which is kind of annoying, <laughs> because out of all the decks you could come up against, this is the one. So I guess this is the one exception where we're going to see this deck struggle, and that's actually a good test for the deck. We want to make sure the deck can do well in its bad matchups as well, um, and we also need to consider its bad matchups and how we can minimize it actually being a bad matchup. So we may need to find a way to deal with this type of stuff. Maybe a type of Coco um, to hit the ho -Oh for weakness, but that doesn't seem too great. Um, right, so here comes the Flame Charge from the Reshiram, which is ideal for them. No abilities in sight, which is just a shame. Maybe they drop an Oranguru, or I'm not too sure, but this de I'm sure this deck plays an Oranguru, no? But even then, we're only hitting 50 damage, so our Weavile right now is just dead card it's just dead weight it's a dead card um but we have like multiple rescue stretches in the deck um we have a lot of draw power so i'm not too fussed really we can just focus on using buzzwall and poking with the buzzwall um now you could just say hey throw Gar uh, uh, garbador in a deck and that's a very good shout i actually have a variant with garbador but the problem is it's just there's just too much going on at that point that it just becomes a bit inconsistent when it comes to throwing in a garb um Right, I think this... I'm, I'm, I'm under the impression that this Buzzwall will be knocked out soon. So, what I'm going to do is Ultra Ball the Pow Pad and the Bodybuilding Dumbbells for another Buzzwall. Um, let's get that out. Yeah, for another Buzzwall, and we will just... Let's think. I can attach to the active, but is that the right way to go about it? Do you know what? Yes, because... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I was going to say because they're doing 110, but they do burn as well, don't they? So let's attach to this Buzzwell on the bench. Um, go for Instruct. Hopefully we hit a Choice Band. We do play Choice Band. We play actually Dumbbells and Choice Band. Um, okay, we'll get we'll, we'll get a Sneeze in any way in play. Now, we hit the Dumbbells, which isn't the best. But what we'll do is just drop the Dumbbells there. So if we do shuffle back into our deck, we don't have to worry. Right, so I, I have no idea how I just hit 100 damage. Oh, okay, we could cooed. We went for a Diancy, and of course, there's the Sledgehammer with the Beast energy. So we just hit 100 damage with Buzzwell like it was nothing. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> so Buzzwell can hold its own pretty well. I believe, I don't know, I may be incorrect. No, I'm thinking of a different list. I have many variants to this list, but I, I, I was thinking this list would have a Beast Ring, but it doesn't. That is a different list that plays basic um fighting energy you could play beast ring in this list but just mixing around basic uh basic energies and stuff it just doesn't seem right but right, we'll get a, a, another buzzle out with the rescue stretcher um now the fact that they see the sneasel here i'm assuming they're just not going to uh put any ability pokemon in play oranguru holding its weight hopefully we hit draw support we do that's good news for us 
Um, and we're just going to drop another sneak. Well, we'll drop another Boswell because it looks like they're really just going to hold back off on their abilities. Um, hopefully, we do hit choice spam. I think we played two choice spam. Um, and the reason why is. The reason why we're actually playing the dumbbells, let me explain that as well. The reason we're actually playing the dumbbells is that um, Weavile has only 90 HP and there are so many decks in format, um, in this format, sorry, that just hit 120 raw as their base damage. And that means they're going to be one-shotting our Weavile's like as easily as they can. So I think because of that, what I'm going to do is add these dumbbells and make sure that they have to try a bit harder to get the knockout. So... That is why we played Dumbbells instead of Choice Band. Yes, Choice Band is great because Evil Abomination with a Choice Band and three abilities in play is a nice, smooth 180, and a Devoured Field is a 190. Um, but I feel like just giving us our, our, our Pokemon a bit more longevity tends to work out better. So the first ability Pokemon is in play with that Tarpu Lele. Um, so we are doing some damage with our Weavile. Now, 50 damage with our Weavile is still pretty decent, especially if we get Shrine out, because that's 60 damage per turn, and again, Shrine just builds up. So we need to get Shrine out into play pretty much right away. This Buzzwell is going down, and we actually do have our, our, our Sledgehammer turn, and I would rather Sledgehammer into another Pokemon, and let Shrine take that Reshiram Ram out if we get Shrine, because, uh, although we're not really in that privileged state, but the reason why I'm saying that um, is because of the, uh, the Wishful Baton. As soon as we knock this thing out, then they're just going to bring up another Reshiram or another Ho-Oh. Probably a Reshiram because their Reshiram is just one-shotting everything I have with their burn. Um, except, of course, the, the, we the Weavile if I don't attach a rainbow. So let's see what they do. I'm assuming they're just going to go straight for the knockout. Um, and we kind of have to just hope that we maybe top deck a Guzma. Um... Yeah, I think top deck in a Guzma would just be insane. But, like, what are the odds? Uh, we have all four Guzma, and we play four. So, let's bank on it. Let's bank that with top deck in a Guzma. Nope. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> we are not top decking a Guzma. <laughs> so, we're going to have to go for... I think it's actually smarter. I mean, the sledgehammer, the sledgehammer this turn is just going to do nothing. So I'd rather save that Buzzword on the bench and just attach energy to it as we go. Taking Liza and the odds of me hitting a Weavile are quite strong. We have a Rescue Stretchers in deck as well. Wow, we didn't actually hit it. Wow. Okay, this is like, that's the worst case scenario. Are we going to get the knockout here? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. However, 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 on the plus side, Shrine of Punishment will deal with that rest around, which means that Wishful Baton is doing nothing. So... That may have turned out better than expected, <laughs> thinking about it. But whiffing on the, on the Weavile, we played four Weavile. And we only have one in the discard pile. So there's three Weavile in deck. And whiffing on that was just not great. That is the problem with Tate and Liza. However, the reason why I've put Tate and Liza in here is just to cover retreat. Um, because we have like two switches, I believe, and four Tate and Liza. So we don't have to worry about being stuck up or something by like a Sylveon deck. Um... Yeah, so they've got all their Pokemon out, and it seems like they're going to be going into Struggle Town because this uh, this shrine of punishment is just going to cause issues for them completely. Um, so let yeah, so they'll knock us out. I'm going to promote this Buzzwall here and attach to it, although that doesn't seem good considering that they can just you know knock us out. That's drilling upstairs. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, who are they going to promote? Are they going to promote the Ho? Oh, which is, actually that seems. Seems like that's, that's the best way to go about it, but they can't go for their Phoenix Burn this turn, which means we do actually have a, a, a safe attachment this turn without just being one shot. So that seems pretty good, to be fair. Considering it's playing into our turn here, that just feels fun. So let's go for the Choice Ban. We'll bench another Sneasel. We'll go for the Acro Bike. And I kind of prefer getting the Cynthia here so we can just draw into more cards. And have more reliable, a much more reliable setup. So we have an energy. That's good. So we're just going to go for Sledgehammer here. Let it do some poke damage. Um, and Shrine is doing its thing. It just makes it a lot easier for us to hit the knockouts. Considering they only have one ability Pokemon in play. And it looks like we're going to be relying on our Weavile's late, um, as this game progresses. So, I mean, if we top deck a Guzma, we can go for a cheeky switch Guzma play. Where we just Guzma up... Um, 
something of the sort. Although, to be fair, if they don't get a Wish Robot on this turn, knocking out this Ho-Oh is like the ideal. Um, because that's where all their energy is. So Guzmaring something up and then taking it out rather than taking out the Ho-Oh in the active is greedy. So what we'll do is we will we will take out the Ho-Oh if they do not have Wish Robot on this turn. So... Let's just see what they decide to do. I mean, that many cards in hand, I'm assuming they play at least three Wish Robot Baton um, if they're not playing things like Choice Band. So looking at this, odds are they do have it. But the fact that they're just sitting there and doing nothing tells me that they haven't. Maybe they're trying to figure out who they want to Sacred Fire. Um, although that really isn't that big a deal. Ah, oh, Cynthia. Ouch. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Please don't get Wish Robot Baton because that would just be... Perfect. That would be ideal. And if they do get Wish Robot on, then uh, what we'll do is we'll just um, Guzma something up and then start taking that out. Oh, they don't. Oh, yeah, they don't get it. They whiffed. They went to whiff town. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I know, you, again, it is probably better to Guzma, but at the same time, like, all the energy is on the Ho-Oh, so is it really better to Guzma? Nah. I think not. Um, I feel like playing a supporter right now doesn't seem right. So I'm just going to Lily for one. Because um, I want to keep everything I've got in my hand. Like that. They just all seem good. Um, maybe, I, maybe I should have just to get an energy for next turn. But that's fine. Swing around. Here we go. And that is a knockout. Thank God. And they have no response now. The only thing they can do is use Reshiram's attack. And that means we get another turn on swing around. So we're just like boom, boom, boom. We're just whacking into them. So this deck is still really just powering through thanks to Baby Buzz um, and just raw manual attachment. No energy acceleration of the sorts. Um, definitely something cool. Wouldn't this be like a fun a, a fun concept card, right? I might do another concept card video. Um, I know this is just coming out of nowhere, but it's just something on my mind. Um, are they going for Turtonator GX's GX attack? But aren't we like winning the game now? Sledgehammer's doing 130? We've won the game. I think we've won. <laughs> How long have we been going for here? We've only been going for 12 minutes, so I might, I might get into another game. Um, wow, that's fun. <laughs> so it looks like we've taken out a deck that didn't even play any, like, it just played one Tarpu Lele as their abilities, and we didn't even use Weavile fully. We just used Baby Buzz, and just because of Shrine, like, we got there. So this is a bad matchup, and we still got the win, which is just amazing. So great there. Um... But yeah, I was thinking of a concept card, right? Where it's like draw three, right? So it's like, oh, that's not great. But if any of them are energy, accelerate them to your Pokemon and play. Like that would be busted. I think that'd be such a good little supporter card. Um, that would go straight into like my cargo lists or something like that. Let's get into another game. Wouldn't you think that's a good idea? Like the reason why I say draw three is so it's not OP. Draw three is kind of like, okay, you're drawing three. No one really likes draw three cards. Like there's a few cards that draw three. I think there's TV Reporter and How. I think there's another one. I don't know. I think there's one. Isn't it Bill's Maintenance? Shuffle one into deck and draw three. Or look card, draw three from the bottom. Like, they don't really see play unless they're necessary. So I feel like a card that is like draw three plus accelerate energy, if there are any energy on the top, would just be like a really good draw supporter. And I think it would just allow a lot of decks um, that are too slow in this format to, to keep up. And it just uh, provides a lot more uh, variety to the format, you know? Because you can you can put a supporter in any deck, and if you can accelerate to any card with that supporter, then there's just way more combos that can come into play. So I think that would just be a really good idea. Okay, Beast Energy is just giving me everything I need. Like I'm drawing into Beast Energy Buzzwell every turn almost. Okay, this is bad, but we'll take the unit. We don't want to lose our energy because they're all special energy, so we can't recover them. Um, okay, we're going to go for the Nest Ball rather than the Weavile. We don't mind the Weavile on a discard because we play a ton of rescue stretch in fact we play two right now i think we actually play three all right so tarpu lele in the active tells me we're either playing a guard of war or we're playing a spread deck and the spread deck makes me want to get diancy out um got hair there sorry makes me want to get diancy out rather than anything else and i kind of want to attach the unit energy just to see if they are playing any um yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my hand as it is. Sorry, I'm just thinking about what to do now. Uh, I'm going to keep my hand as it is because we want the Kukui um, and the Beast Energy. So we're just going to keep it. But let's see if they are playing Enhanced Hammer. Because I know some spread decks do play Enhanced Hammer. So if we're playing Spread Deck, then we need to be careful. Okay, this is definitely Shouting Spread Deck. Which is kind of fun. 
because they're also playing shrine and that means we're playing a deck now that doesn't that doesn't um, get affected by shrine which again is a a bad matchup for us so we need to see how we handle this bad matchup okay so i think we in this list we also play four acro bike uh, oh whoa 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 did i just see that is the, is are we playing malamar what are we playing I have no idea what's going on. Okay, they've ended the turn, so let's just go. Do we get the knockout on the late on the Lily? No, we don't. We whiff by ten, don't we? We're gonna we're still gonna do it, but like Oh, that's tough. We whiff by ten. We'll go for the Kakui now just so we can get the extra damage on the board. And we'll ultra ball away a Tatanlizer and a Guzma. And we'll get considering I saw Deoxys, I'm more confident now in getting a Sneasel out. Um, and assuming that they are playing something down that line. So we'll go for Sledgehammer here for just 100 damage. Ah, it's a bit annoying with him by 10. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Kakui. Maybe I should have just cynthia and then just gone for the two-shot anyway. Like, playing Kakui usually... I think I misplayed there. I think you should play the Kakui if you're, um, you know, like 20 de 10, 20 damage away from a knockout. That's when you need your Kakuis. But either way... We did what we did. They're getting something out. Fighting Energy and Deoxys. What is going on? What is this deck? What are we playing? I have no idea. So yeah, this is this is this deck is oddly similar to the um, the, the Baby Buzz Garbodor Weavile type list, but it's just more focused on Weavile than Garbodor. Garbodor, I think, is just a lot easier to play around. Although having Garbodor now would be great with all this, but I think. The, the Weavile, yeah, the Garbodor is just a lot easier to, to play around as the opponent. Oh, so we're playing Persimian. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're actually going to attach to the Sneasel um, because this Buzzwall has the potential to be knocked out next turn, and we do not want that. Now, Persimian does indeed play um, the ability of Persimian, the one that does, I think, 30 more damage to evolution Pokemon, and they're going to want to get those out, but that would just help us. So... Fingers crossed they actually do get those Persimian out into play. Uh, and if they do, which I assume they would, um, we just go... Usually they want to get three of those ones out, so we'd probably just be smacking 150. Yeah, so they just, they're just going to quit. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Right, let's get into... We'll do one more game, um, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Have you seen the new ladder, by the way? It is Glycopod, and that is awesome. And then the last full art is a full art Acer Roller. Like... It's like Pokemon's just like, do you know what? Glycopod's kind of taking a dip. Let's just shove it in their face. Because, <laughs> like, Glycopod, they're all, they're, they're all a part of the Glycopod list. So, um, And I know there's a solo Glycopod and there's a like Glycopod Zorak. I actually haven't played Glycopod, uh, Glycopod GX once ever because I've never owned a Glycopod GX. I've opened so many, like, Burning Shadows packs. Uh, never got it. I know I could get the promo, but I just never took interest in it. Um, so now this ladder's come along. It's like... Okay, thank you. This is the one card, the one GX card that is good that I just don't have and I've never owned. Um, no matter how hard I've tried. And Pokemon's just like, well, you can have it now. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> um, so I definitely recommend trying out this ladder for sure and trying to complete it. Recently, they've gotten good. Like, there was the, the last ladder had a full art Guzma, which is just clutch. Oh, we're playing the Zorak list. Oh, yeah. This is just getting me excited already. Right, we're going to go for the turn one Lily. Um, just so we can guarantee a draw support next turn. And we'll go for Acrobike. Hopefully hit something here. Switch doesn't seem cool. We'll go for Ultra Ball. And we'll actually Ultra Ball. No, no, we're not going to Ultra Ball. We're going to save the Ultra Ball for a Weavile next turn. And uh, let's see how, how how they set up. Um, also need to bear in mind, though, that they're not going to get their Zoroks out this turn. So they'll have, probably have no ability for everyone in play. Now, seeing a Tapu Coco Sleeves, this might be like a Zorok spread deck. Which I've made before and is really fun. Oh, so it's Zorok Buzzwall. This is a very unique list. I've tried Zorok Buzzwall before. When Buzzwall was in its prime, I was kind of like, well, why can't you get the two best Pokemon and put them together? And then I realized that it's really awkward with like DCE and stuff. Um, but hey. Oh. oh, do you know what? I might even be jumping to conclusions. We might actually be playing a Zorok with just a Buzzwall GX tech. But why would you get your Buzzwall GX out first? Why? Do they want a Sledgehammer? It's a bit strange. A bit strange, a bit strange. Uh, not Sledgehammer. <laughs> Jet Punch. Okay. Let's think. This is probably knocked out. Thinking about it. We're going to commit the Choice Band to it anyway. That might be a bit of a misplay. Um, we can Ultra Ball for another Sneasel and attach to it. That seems okay. Ultra Ball away the Rescue Stretch and the, and the other Ultra Ball. And... Uh, 
I mean, we could go Weavile and hit 50 onto the Zeru of it. That doesn't seem good. <clears throat> we could get Buzzwall and Retreat. Actually, that seems good. Because we can just get a knockout on the Zeru, which would really slow them down. So let's let's get greedy. Um, I honestly think the manual retreat is better. Just because we get to play a Cynthia and just get more cards in our hand. Um, and this is why I do I do like the foc to focus a bit more on the Weavile and Sneasel than the Garbodor. Because Garbodor is a lot harder to work around. It's a lot less flexible. I don't like the idea of getting rid of an ultra ball ultra balling any of these things away um but we'll, we'll we'll just go for the sledgehammer and just take the knockout now which is good um choice band great uh we get like a beast energy we're gonna be hitting big numbers on a zorak so like we can definitely take the greedy plays and <laughs> attach one to sneezer and then guzma retreat if they get a zorak out which just seemed insane or if they get this buzzwell out of the active then do you know what that is actually an extra win for me if they do get Zorak out, which I assume they do. So they have three ability Pokemon into play. We're hitting 150 with our Sneasels now. So best thing to do is start getting, sorry, with our Weavile. So best thing to do is start getting our Weavile's out whilst Buzzwell just starts poking around. But we just don't have anything to do it right now. I mean, we have an Ultra Ball, but the, all these cards in my hand are just so valuable um, in this matchup. Okay, so there's the Zorak, and we're just going to uh, show Zorak that... Uh, you're not to, to be messed with. <laughs> um, how much are we hitting then? So we're hitting 30, 60. Um, yeah, so choice plan makes it 60. If we get like a beast energy, then we get the knockout on us all right, right? If I'm doing the mask correct. 30, 60, 90, 110, yeah. So if we get like a beast energy, that'd be great. No beast energy, but we are going to greed. We're going to just full on greed and just sledgehammer into that Zorak. And just be like, look, I know what you're trying to do. And it ain't going to happen. <laughs> there we are. So let's do that. And um, we'll attach the unit here. This one's safer. And I honestly don't mind Ultra Balling now. Um, just to speed up the deck. Just get a Weavil out. So we can at least be a bit more. Um, oh, ah, that's bad. I did not realize I put this Sneasel down this turn. That is a complete misplay for me. And we could go for a, a Brooklet Hill and actually get another Buzzwall out, which doesn't seem bad. So we'll do that. Let's do that. Um, and we'll just go in for the Sledgehammer. Uh, we're not getting knockout, I don't think. I think, is it like 180? We're hitting 160. Okay. But this Zorak now needs to get out of the active um, because it can't knock me out unless they play Kakui. And if they do, I've got another Buzzwall just sitting there waiting. Um... So, yeah, this is kind of like one of the ideal matchup for us because Zorak is just ability town. <laughs> Zorak, Lycorock, and Makargo. Yes, they're going to have a lot of control. I'll give you that. Like, Makargo is such a, a, little, a nice little inclusion in a Zorak list. Although, I feel like it makes it a bit more clunky, um, relying on getting that many stage runs out just to make your deck run the way you want it to. Um, def I, I would say it's definitely worth putting a 1 1 line in a Zorak. Um, Zorak, Zorak, Lycan, Zorak, Lycan, Zorak. I'm getting confused. I'm calling it Zorak or Zorak, Lycan, Rock. I'm getting confused. <laughs> uh, let's attach to this Buzzwall. That seems right. And we will dumbbells this Sneasel and go for. Oh, we could. Maybe we could draw into something that we could use right now with this Instruct. No. So I think the Lily is better off because we're in a good position now. We can just be a bit more comfortable with our plays. We can guarantee. Uh, I draw support next turn with that Lily. Alrighty, so we are just stomping through and we haven't even used Weavile yet. It's funny, this deck is based around Weavile and Buzzwell is just like, heh, I got this. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, Weavile, just, just sit down and just relax. I got you. <laughs> the best bodyguard ever is Buzzwell. <laughs> uh, so they got Makargo out, but luckily, because we took out the Zorak, they've got nothing to show for it. Um, although, of course, they can Makargo every turn for the good top deck, but. Nonetheless, they don't get any card they want any turn. So, looks like they're going to get ready for a sneaky GX attack. Going for the Judge should be fine, considering we do play a heavy support line. We play a ton of Acro Bikes. We should be okay off the Judge. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we've got an Acro Bike and we've got a Kukui. So, like, we're fine. Like, that's a bit sketchy, but we're fine. Now, we could play our own Makargo in this list, but again, that would make it a bit clunky. I just want, like, the when I made this deck, I just, like, I want speed. I just want bang, bang, play your cards, get everything out, and go. And it's pretty, this deck is pretty fast. Okay, so they've got their B-string. Um, 
which is kind of irritating. But I think a Weavile was getting a knockout on this. So, oh, no, we're just... Yeah, no, no, we are getting a knockout with a Weavile. So this Buzzwell is going to run into... Uh, good old evil, evil, oh, it's evil addom, ad, admonition, admonition. I call it abomination. Well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> you learn something new every day. <laughs> the more you know. Okay, so I think we're going to go this Weaver. Um, not because it has a choice ban, but just because it has less damage on it. Even though this one would be higher HP, effectively speaking. So I'm just, a, I'm just an idiot. Let's just, let's just say that, shall we? Acrobike or Kukui first. I think Acrobike and see if we get better draw support. Oh, that is nice. Okay, let's go. We have to sacrifice the rescue stretcher, but I think we're in a good spot. Um, getting Shrine of Punishment is just clutch. So let's... Okay, let's instruct. We could Kukui now, but I want to save that for Buzzwell if we do have a turn where we don't have our Sledgehammer about. So that was how much? Was that, what, 240, 230? I didn't even check. I just, like, just knock out and then, yep, yeah, that's done. <laughs> On to the next one. So there's Shrine doing its job. And honestly, all we need is a Guzman and we've won. So, and if they knock us out, all we need is a Guzman. Yeah, so that's another win. So, oh my god, this is reminding me of Honchko, where everyone just quit <laughs> all the time. So, that is the list. Let me show you the deck here. It is super fun. It's super consistent. Um, and it's super quick. So, it can definitely keep up. It does only pay special energy. So, I warn you, be careful because Enhanced Hammer would just run through you. Especially if we're coming up against something like a Sylveon. I think Sylveon is like the worst matchup for this deck, let's be real. Um, but we played against decks that we weren't really supposed to beat, and we have. So that's also pretty neat. Uh, right, there is the list. So we'll just go over it. We have the one Oranguru just to help with draw. The Diancy, of course, for the Buzzwell. And then, of course, there's Buzzwell Weavile. We play Force News or Free of Evil. Uh, ad admonition, not Abomination. Now, you could go for adding an extra... Weavile with the Wall of Evil attack, just in case you want to do some spread damage, that's up to you. But bear in mind, you're playing around Guru and Diancy, so you are running a risk there. For Acro Bike, we need to be quick. We've got Nest Balls to get something out, Power Pad to recover these uh, supporters, just to make, uh, just to add a bit more longevity to the list. And Acro Bike, of course, made discard supporters, so it just gives you a bit more freedom with your Acro Bikes. Rescue Stretcher again works off sort of Acro Bike, it allows you to bring your Weavile's back into play. Um, it's, and it allows you to kind of recycle the Pokemon you want to use, like a Buzzwall or Weavile. Which one would you prefer in the, in, the, in, in, in the game, in the match, in the battle? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and just go for the uh, the recycles there of those Pokemon. Of course, switch to help with the retreat, which is not always necessary. Weavile with one retreat cost is always quite nice. Um, and of course, we have Shrine of Punishment, the big boy in the deck. Although we can run without it, as you can see, we, we didn't struggle at all when Shrine wasn't in play. And just a ton of draw support here. Four Cynthia, four Titan Lies. We've got a Kakubi, we've got two Lily. We have um, the three Dumbbells, which again is an optional decision there. Um, I tend to feel like the Dumbbells is great for the Weavile, just because it's so easy to knock out. Uh, two Choice Bands as well to help with the Buzzwaz, or if you decide you need to do extra damage with your Weavile, then you have the Choice Bands available. Uh, Beast Energy, of course, Rainbow Energy, and Unit Energy, the Fighting fairy and dark type so that's the list there is there anything you would do to it to make it better is there any ones that you would you know tech in and, and remove in this list just let me know your thoughts i'd love to hear it but do try this deck out it's cheap and it's just fun that's the word i'm gonna use it's just fun <laughs> anyway other than that do leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more and i'll see you tomorrow